Yep. All right. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Good. All right. Another great training. Um, here, let me stop the screen share real quick. And so now it's on me. Hopefully everybody can see me out there in, in cyber world. Uh, this is our first live training that we've done. So kicking out the bugs and so forth. So who knows? Uh, might be a, a few uh, little glitches with the, with the live feed. Everybody here is going to be just fine. But. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'm Kevin Lauren. I'm the, the director of training and marketing here for Alter Realty Group. Um, as you guys know, I know all of you. Uh, <laughs> um, again, to, you know, uh, Alter Realty Group is all about technology, innovation, solutions, um, you know, bridging the gap between, you know, the antiquated world of real estate and where it's heading, which is digital and, uh, you know, catering to millennials and so forth. So, you know, that's really the core philosophy uh, behind Alter Realty Group is embracing that technology, making sure that all of our agents understand how to do uh, social media marketing, how they can be relevant in today's uh, real estate market. Um, one of the big things, of course, is making sure everything's digital. You know, as you know, we, we, uh, we use uh, DocuSign and we use uh, SkySlope. So those are the, uh, the, the tools that we always use. Um, the other thing that we, of course, use is uh, online tools such as websites, uh, squeeze pages, Facebook marketing, Google marketing, all those kinds of things. So, um, uh, and let's see, I think we do have Travis Breton with us. Let's see if I can unmute Travis real quick here and see if he can say hello to us. One sec. Courtney, can you uh, unmute Travis perhaps? Can you hear me, Kevin? Yep, I can hear you fine. All right. How yeah. you doing? I'm well. You're good. Uh, hello to you. Uh, Travis is down in, in San Diego. And uh, so, Travis, how are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. Just uh, enjoying the warm weather. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a little chillier up here in Alameda, but uh, still a beautiful day. So Travis is our new uh, corporate broker. Um, he's taken over uh, Tim Hawthorne. Tim Hawthorne is, is still uh, with our company. He's still one of our, uh, he's on our board of directors and he's still a key uh, component of our company. But Travis has taken over the day-to-day -day operations for, uh, as a broker. He brings a tremendous amount of, of uh, experience. Um, we're really lucky to have him. He's actually been working behind the scenes for the last three, four months with us, developing some of new programs um, streamlining some of our processes and so forth. So, uh, Travis, welcome. It's great to have you. Uh, maybe just give us a little bit more background so everybody knows exactly who you are and, uh, and all that good stuff. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Um, first of all, thanks everyone for, uh, for attending today. Uh, sorry, I couldn't make it up there for the live training. Um, I'm sure I'll get a chance to meet everyone at some point, uh, you know, either via phone or, or in person as we do uh, more of these live trainings. Um, just want to say if you did miss the, uh, the kickoff webinar last week, um, I wanted everybody to know um, that we do have some really great things planned for the company this year. Uh, we have some uh, additional marketing um, tools and programs coming up that's really going to help with uh, uh, generating leads uh, for everyone and just overall boosting business. So um, we have a lot of stuff planned there. Um, and I also did want to uh, remind everyone that if you ever have any questions about a, a transaction, whether it be just a scenario you're running into or, or you know, how to write a, a, a certain clause into an addendum or something like that, just please always give me a call. Um, you can call, text, email. I'm really easy to get a hold of. Um, if you missed the contact sheet that uh, went out last week, just uh, let Kevin know. We'll get a new one out to you. Uh, I don't have my cell phone on there. Um, I'm around seven days a week, so you know, don't be afraid to uh, give me a call or text if, if you have a question on anything. So I like to be really proactive with the situations and um, you know, try and keep everybody's risk as, as minimal as possible when we're dealing with transactions. So. Perfect, Travis. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, again, um, everybody here in the live training, we were, we're hang, uh, handing out uh, that same contact sheet. So everybody will make sure that they've got uh, access to you, Travis. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Perfect. Well, thanks for right. joining us and we're going to continue with the training. Awesome. Have fun. All right. Thank you, Travis. Right. We'll see you. All right. 
Excellent. All right, so the first thing we want to go into is um, what we do is we create the kind of the core of and, and the storefront for your business is your is your 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 website. And so this is an example of one of the websites that we've created for uh, Realtor Yvette Burrell. And so this this site has been customized. You can see at the very top we've got you know her uh, one of her uh, ex areas of expertise is staging. And so we've got a, a page dedicated to her staging that she does. And so, and the other, uh, one of the other things that she does is she is an expert at selling someone's home after a, a death in the family. And so she's got a great uh, piece that really helps families out, uh, understand exactly what they need to do, steps that they need to take. Um, so she's an expert in that area as well. So we've created a custom page for her there. Um, another thing, of course, is just a nice meet event page. So everybody should have a, a little bit of a, a background about them on their website. So that was, that's what we've done with her. And then testimonials is great. Of course, having testimonials of other people that have had a good experience with you um, as a realtor, it's really invaluable. Um, as you know, we live in a, in a day and age where everybody looks you up on Yelp and TripAdvisor and everybody's rated and everybody's got stars. And so realtors are really no different. Um, there really isn't a good site where realtors are, are rated right now um, that I could speak of. So it's important to make sure that you have testimonials on your website so you, you can direct people, hey, this is what other people have, you know, the experience they, they have had. Um, uh, it's one of the most important things that I think that you need to have on a website in order for people to gain trust about you. Um, one of the biggest things is, yeah, go ahead. Um, can it be? Doesn't their, how they work with me, how I work. I have testimonials that could you use some of those. I mean, plus sure. people that have worked with me, brokers, mortgage lenders that have worked with me. I have testimonials that I will send to you, but I just wanted to know if I could send all of them. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of, that's a great idea. Yeah, so uh, if, absolutely. and I know uh, everybody else out in Cyberland uh, probably couldn't hear uh, Yvette's question, but what her question was is, is it okay to have testimonials not just of people that were clients, but were also people that she's worked with in other industries, even you know other realtors? Absolutely, the more the better, and it really paints a picture of who you are. If a lot of different people are saying great things about you, and then and then um, the other side of that is you know if there is anything online that is derogatory about you, there's things called a ripoff report, and there's a few things out there where. Uh, people can go ahead and they can, you know, they can complain and they can say, hey, I had a problem with this person. And uh, the problem with uh, Ripoff Report itself is it's such a massive website. It has really good search engine optimization. And so if there's something that is put out there online on Ripoff Report, it's going to show up on the front page when somebody does a search for you. <laughs> so something to, to keep in mind, of course, we always want to make sure that we're taking care of everybody. And we're doing everything we can to, you know, to be on the up and up, but you're not going to be able to please everybody. And there are those bad apples that you do your best and they're still going to have a problem and they might go out and, and, and you know, say something derogatory about you online. Um, so that is something to be aware of. Um, so if there is something like that, then we've got to go on the offensive. We've got to make sure that we put things that are out there that are positive about you. So a ways that we can combat uh, you know, uh, ripoff reports is using things like video and, you know, both of you now have, have, have some pretty good videos to show, um, you know, Hey, this is me, this is who I am. And, uh, do, creating a video with testimonials in it is also a great idea. And so, uh, uh, Larissa and I created a few videos, super easy to do. She's now an expert. She can do it. I just created one for Yvette. Um, and so more videos like that are great. The neat thing about a video, and I'll show you in a second, is uh, Google owns YouTube. And so we can make these YouTube videos. Google wants to push the YouTube videos. And so oftentimes it's easier for us to rank a, uh, a YouTube video on Google than a website. Um, so we, we've got different techniques that we can use in order to you know, rank those, web, uh, or those, uh, those YouTube videos. And then that way, if somebody does a search for your name and the word realtor or real estate, 
your stuff is going to come up, stuff that you control comes up. Um, it's also great to make sure that you, you've got your Facebook page populated because that most likely will come up. Facebook is another what we call high page rank website. So page rank is an important thing in websites. Um, Google has developed a system where your website is either a zero or all the way up to a nine. And that just means that with respect to a certain keyword phrase that your website either is very relevant or very, very much not relevant. And so um, really, you know, so like a, 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 a social media site like Facebook would be a, an eight or a nine, you know, Google is a nine, right? Um, normal people's websites that actually have been around for a while, they might only be a two, but that's still okay because most websites are a zero. So having your information on a nine Facebook is going to allow you to possibly have that rank higher. So again, you want to make sure that you have your, all of your information on Facebook, LinkedIn, all the other social media, um, realtor.com, even truly.com. Those are all high page rank websites. And so you want your information to be correct on all those sites. Um, one thing that I see uh, definitely when people come over to a new brokerage is they'll forget about some of the other information, some of the other sites where their information is populated. So you'll have misinformation out there. Um, so then that's a, a really bad thing to do. You want to make sure that all the information that you have out there online is correct and optimized perfectly. If they give you a field to fill out, fill out every doggone field. You know, and that goes for every single one of the business directories and social media sites that there are. So that's like step one, becoming a realtor and could be step one for realtors that just haven't really thought about this and want to make sure that they go back and they, you know, fix these things and make sure that it all looks good online. Cause trust me, when somebody learns about you, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll Google your name. And so that's, uh, you want to make sure that your information is not only correct, but looking stellar. And there's good reviews and you're on there. People are like, oh, wow, this realtor has really got their stuff uh, uh, dialed in. So I call that your digital footprint. You want to make sure that your digital footprint is impeccable or as good as possible. And so, again, creating videos, you know, is a great way to have a lot of stuff uh, positive out there on the Internet about you and you control it. Nobody else controls it. So um, getting back to our website, um, again, you know, uh, websites are sometimes difficult to rank. However, um, if we, using our example with Larissa, uh, her area is Benicia and Vallejo. And what we have discovered is if we want to rank a, a website or a uh, YouTube video for a term like, you know, Vallejo real estate. We're up against the biggest of the big Redfin, Trulia, Zillow, all the big guys, and they have massive page rank websites. So a Zillow and a Trulia, there's probably a six or a seven. So our little, you know, zero agent website that we just created a couple of months ago, there's no way we're going to compete with them, but we do have the ability to compete with, with them on a level of creating a YouTube video, for a community within Vallejo or Benicia. So, you know, the Zillows and the, and the, and the Redfins, they're concentrated on the city name and homes for sale and all that kind of stuff. They dominate it, you know, we're not gonna get there. But we do have the ability for a, in this particular uh, example, Water's End is a community within Benicia. So, and a lot of times when people do searches for homes, they know the community that they wanna move to. So they'll do a search for Benicia and Water's End. So in this uh, example, we've got recent listings in Benicia, Water's End, and you come down, we've got, so let's see who, who's, who, who has come to the party here. Zillow's number one, Zillow's also number two, but look who's number three, our ARGHome.net, you know, Alter Realty Group. Welcome, Carolina. Carolina has just joined us. Um, so you can see that you know, on our website, and, and I'm gonna just click on this. So this is the, the uh, ARG corporate website. What we like to do a lot of times is when our agents create videos and stuff like that, we like to also side promote them on our website. So we get this kind of cross pollination where, you know, we're promoting their site there, you know. And so um, one thing about the Alta Realty Group site is it is a page rank too. 
It's been around for a few years. It's got tons of information. So we like to help our agents by creating pages within our website that have their videos and talk about the, the, the community and the, the lovely city of Benicia and call, you know, uh, Larissa Bergman. And this is all on our website. So this is the kind of stuff that we like to do to support our agents that are doing things like creating videos and so forth. So again, let's back up and let's check this out. Again, this is the search, uh, the search results page. And so we go down, this was the, uh, the you know, ARG website, but down here, we've got her, her uh, videos that she created. And they stand out way more than any other li uh, link or, or uh, listing on the page because they've got that picture. No other thing has a picture. And so everybody's got you know, short attention span these days. They wanna go and they just wanna click on a quick video and you notice these are you know, a minute and 11 seconds and 55 seconds. We don't want them any, any longer than that. And even 30 and 45 second videos are just fine. So, you know, we don't want to bore people. We just want to get their attention. And guess what? We got the dog on phone number right there. So if somebody wants to just pick up a phone, they'll go ahead and do that. Um, so it's just a great way for us to compete with Zillow, Redfin, the big guys um, on, a, on a local level. And so you can imagine doing these things over and over again for all the communities within your, your area, and they're all on your YouTube channel, you're gonna stick out. And that's something that not all, all uh, agents are doing. And so, um, you know, doing one or two, great. You may get a phone call here or there, but it really does take repeat. You gotta do a lot of these and it's gotta be part of the schedule, you know, maybe one a month. Um, especially when you start getting listings, you wanna start featuring your own listings in these little videos. And so let me show you uh, before I go too further in, we'll just click on, on her, uh, her video real quick to show you a quick excerpt of what it's like. So, you know, and she did a great job. She's got the fade ins and all kinds of stuff. And as you guys probably know, there's a ton of different video making software out there. Um, there's a few free ones. If you use uh, PC, you can use uh, Windows Movie Maker. Very simple. In fact, I'll show you it. It's right here. Oops. Most uh, PCs come with it. And so you just, all these movie makers, all they are and all you need to do is create a slideshow. So you just have to have the images put this images in a little, you know, succession, maybe set it to some music and away you go. They're very, very simple to make. You can make one in an hour, you know, um, and then uploading them to, to YouTube, of course, is great as well. So um, let me go back to another example. So same thing. Um, she also uh, works in, in Vallejo and has an area in Vallejo, a community in Vallejo called Vista. So the same thing there. She, created a video, Vallejo Vista, recent listings, phone number again, right there. So she's coming up in her local area for, for local searches. Very, very important. Um, so we also did one for, uh, for, for Yvette Burrell. So Yvette is in El Sobrante, just across the, the bay over there, um, East Bay. And in El Sobrante, we wanted to make sure that Yvette had a nice presence there. And we've got some information. So I created a, 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 a page within our website, again, that has a high page rank, and it's going to show up a little bit faster than Yvette's website. So I wanna, we, we always want to make sure that we are, we are doing a little bit of a cross uh, marketing. And so the cool thing here is I've also got a link to her website, and not just to her website, to the search a results page on her website that shows all the current stuff in El Sobrante. So what can Yvette do now? She can, she can send this property search to any of her, her clients that are looking for properties in El Sobrante. So all we have to do is take this, highlight that URL, copy it, and we can send that in an email directly to one of our clients that maybe we know for sure is interested in El Sobrante 
or we can use it in social media. So one of the things that we've done for Yvette is we will go to Facebook and I'm a, an admin on Yvette's uh, page. So we'll go into her page eventually. And we can now post that. And so people that are following her know that this will pop up. And look how good she looks, right? Look like a pro up here, uh, Yvette. So now we can take that link that we, that we did, we can paste it here. And now people that come to her website can see, they can click on this and they can go to that page where they can see all of Elsa Bronte's newest listings. So these are really key tools, digital tools, that you're able to send to you know, a millennial that's on their phone. They're gonna click on it. They're gonna search for stuff on their phone. They know how to do it. You know, so you're just you know, feeding them the information in the way that they want it, right? And they're just making it easy for everyone, right? And so the other thing that we would do here, this is just kind of like a, a, uh, an advanced tip, is once you put that URL in here, Anything that you click, anything that the reader clicks on this post once we post it, will take them directly to that site. And what we can do is we can back out all of this text because it doesn't look all that, that sexy, you know? So what we want in, that, in the text is something provocative like, hey, uh, you know, Elsa Bronte homes are on the rise, something to that effect. And you can, you know, so well, let's just say something like that. Let's say L. So Bronte homes are increasing in value, exclamation point. Oops. Oops. See the latest listings. Here. Or see the latest listings in El Sobrante here. So it's very, very specific. People that are in El Sobrante are going to go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's what I'm looking for. And then what we want to do, this is probably the most important thing, is we go down to this plus sign down here and we add an image. Got to have an image in any posts because the image is what, what pops up. You know, people go like this on their, on their cell phones and they, they, they sit in line or whatever the heck they are and they're on Facebook and they're just looking for something cool to look at. The pictures is what's going to stop them and say, what the heck's that? So having some kind of spectacular picture is what you want to do. Um, and I'm not sure what we've got here. We'll just use some kind of a, we've got boat party stuff from, from uh, ARG. We're, we're just not going to do it. Because what you want is you want a, a local picture and Yvette's done a great job of collecting some local pictures on her hard drive at home. And so we're, we're not going to publish it, but that would be how you utilize these links. So uh, let me back up a step and let's, let's exit. And let's go to the dashboard. This is now the back end of our website systems. And so we use a, a system or, or uh, primarily we use two different systems, but we're moving almost exclusively to agent marketing. Um, we do have some agents that are on conversion. We did have uh, some, uh, you know, confusion about con conversion. So we still have a lot of agents that are on it. Um, the ones that were getting confused, we moved over to agent marketing, uh, a little bit easier to, to follow, a little bit easier to, to deal with. Um, the functionality is really good too. Um, so in our, our, our dashboard, this is our dashboard. This is when you log into your, your CRM, which is your, your client relations management system. Um, you're able to see all of your different your, uh, people that have come to your website. So that would be in, in leads. You're also able to make changes to your website. So we've got our personal website here and uh, that's what that's, uh, we took a look at that before. So this is Yvette's personal website. Um, and then we're able to also create squeeze pages. We, uh, of course, we can also blog. I recommend that everybody write a blog. 
Um, not, it doesn't have to be every day, it doesn't have to be anything like that, but some kind of a, of a blog is a very, very good way to communicate with, with people in your sphere. And again, you create the blog and then you can post those blog posts to social media. So again, um, when you post things on social media, the best case scenario is you're sending people back to your website, back to your squeeze pages, back to ways that they're going to contact you. You want to get them off of Facebook and onto your stuff. That's what we want to do. So um, blogging, great way to do that. Also great way to get people away from uh, Facebook and onto your website is to utilize squeeze pages. And so a squeeze page is nothing more than a page on a website that is very specific. We want someone, we're not going to have all the information in the world. We want something very specific that we want those people to do. So we want those people to, in this case, here we'll take a look at one of uh, of uh, Yvette's squeeze pages. So this is uh, a squeeze page for, let's do uh, Hercules Homes. So in this particular squeeze page, and you can see the URL of the URL bar is herculeshomes.fastvaluations.org. Kind of a catchy little, little name. So this squeeze page, it doesn't have all of Yvette's information, doesn't even have the phone number, because we want that person to do one thing and one thing only fill out this form. Very prominently located. There's nothing else for the person to do. There's no links. There's nowhere else for them to go. So that's what we call a squeeze page. We're putting that person into a funnel and we're, we want them to take an action. They don't always do it, but that's what we want to do. Um, the advantage of putting a squeeze page into your social media versus just, hey, here, go to my website. You go to the website and they can get lost. They can wander all around. And, you know, we maybe don't want them to do that. Certainly, you know, we want them to search for homes and that kind of stuff, but we don't want them just to be lost and wandering around. And if we're doing social media marketing, we're paying for it. We want to say, Hey, you come here, give us the info or don't. And then we don't have to deal with you, but we want the people that are going to be, you know, uh, engaging with us. And we want to boil that to a head. <laughs> so they're either going to be come with us or not. Right. It depends on the, the uh, copy and it depends on the, the uh, provocativeness of your ad, right? So, and, and these, you know, quite frankly, it's pretty low. We're having really good success. And so uh, Travis, uh, when he, when he uh, came on, he kind of uh, mentioned and alluded that we are, uh, you know, creating, we've created a new marketing program. And so if you guys open up your envelopes, your lovely Alta Realty Group folders that we've created. Uh, the first insert on the right is our, you know, our gold program, our agent, what we call now our agent career building program, and also our platinum program, which is our top producing agent program. And so uh, most of you are on the gold program. Um, that's a $99 monthly marketing fee, includes the website, CRM, um, all that kind of stuff, of course includes uh, the ability to create the community pages and create all the different squeeze pages and so forth. Um, the, uh, the gold program also, of course, you're able to, uh, you know, have access to our sky slope, paperless, transac uh, uh, paperless transaction management system, e and insurance, get paid directly from escrow. Um, you know, you have access to our Wednesday webinars, uh, access to agent resource center, which I'll show you in a second and all the other stuff. Of course, uh, broker access and two hours of coaching when you, when you join. And of course, a lot of you have been grandfathered in and you know that you get as much coaching as you need <laughs> directly. Uh, guys that are joining us uh, after today and that, you know, after the, really the first of the year, um, the, it's really only the platinum program that will give us uh, access to that extended coaching and you know, our training sessions. So with the platinum program, they're gonna get two hours uh, included every month and they're also going to receive leads. So the platinum program is instead of nine, uh, $99 a month, it's $399 a month. And the core of that is getting leads. So we actually take the vast majority of those dollars, put them straight into uh, Facebook advertising and lead generation um, for that. And, and we're having great results with the, with the lead gen program. Um, we're using in, in most cases, we're doing seller leads. And so um, getting to your question, uh, Larissa, the, 
style of advertising that we're doing with these seller leads is very provocative and we're getting very good response. In fact, most, most agents are getting uh, leads every day. And so this, the way that those advertisements, uh, our advertisements are done is it's basically under the, uh, the uh, deal of get a free home evaluation. But it's not like, you know, hey, fill out a form, we're gonna get back to you in, in a day or something like that. They get an instant home evaluation right when they click on the link and it gets sent to them via email. Uh, they look spectacular, they look great. Um, and so that's what we've, you know, that's the core of the, of the Platinum program is, is those leads, doing lead generation for you. We actually handle the creation of the ads. We handle the, uh, the monitoring of the ads. And, and everything that has to do with the ads. So it's a great new program that we're, we're really excited about. Uh, the other thing that you do get with that is a customized listing presentation. So all of our websites come with a, a uh, it's a, uh, let me just bring it up. So it's a listing presentation that you can customize yourself, but as part of the platinum program, we'll do that for you. We'll create a very, very nice uh, custom le uh, listing presentation that you can hand to your client that will show them exactly the kinds of things that you do. And so let's just take a look at, this is kind of our, our generic uh, listing presentation. Still very good. Contact Yvette. Here's our plan for success. This is how we do it. You know, we build a custom website for your home. We've, we'll feature that on social media. You know, um, you know, and we can actually show them a, 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 a property custom website. Easy deal. Online commercial, make, you know, all kinds of, 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 of uh, like we said, videos that we can put a listing video that we can promote HD panoramic tours. And so of course, as part of the platinum program, we'll customize whatever the heck you want on this. You know, you bet one of your things is staging. You want to be able to say, Hey, we do amazing staging, you know? So whatever it is you want to convey to your, your sellers, that's what we'll create in this, in this customized listing presentation. But as you can see, very, very dynamic, very good looking. Uh, it is mobile optimized. All of the websites and squeeze pages that you, we use are mobile friendly. They look great on mobile. So, um, we can get rid of that guy. So the Platinum program uh, and the other uh, major part of the Platinum program is we do also give you access to Forewarn. And let me just pull Forewarn up real quick. Forewarn is our agent uh, security system. And so all of our agents that are on the gold program, they have access to Forewarn, but it does cost 15 bucks extra a month. Platinum program will include it. So Forewarn is great um, for agents. When you get a lead, you can go ahead and put that lead's phone number into or name uh, into the, the, the system. And it'll do a query on criminal records, on uh, 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 it doesn't have DMV stuff for California yet. They're going to hopefully uh, include that. Uh, it also has stuff like, you know, um, housing, you know, how many homes have they owned, uh, housing records. So you can get a good idea of some, some, you know, the quality of a lead by checking this out. Um, we also, of course, you know, male or female, if you, if you do a search and they have somebody that is, you know, a, a sexual predator or has been convicted of something like that, maybe don't want to go and show them a house, exactly. right? So it's just a great way to at least have some information, you know, I mean, it's not going to... Uh, uh, save everybody in the world, but having a, another little tool to just kind of check it out. Or you, you do a search on the guy and he's, you know, he's been convicted of fraud 10 times. And it's like, I don't think we're going to waste our time with that guy, you know? So anyway, another little uh, tool to help keep agents safe and to not have agents waste a bunch of time with somebody that might be a fraudulent kind of guy. Um, so those are the, the, the aspects of the platinum program. And so if anybody has questions about it, I encourage you to just contact me directly, 949-285-7209, uh, and I can get you started on that. Um, and literally, when we've been starting these programs, you know, firing it up, uh, people are getting leads almost instantly. 
and I, I'm no jokes. Uh, so that's been a really, really positive program for, for everybody that's, that's joined so far. Um, and then the other things in our handouts are, of course, we do have a Clearview Mortgage handout. Um, as you know, we do have a, a mortgage arm, Clearview Mortgage. Bill Seitz is the gentleman that heads that department up. Uh, you can also see on this sheet that we've got uh, contact information for the other team members, uh, Debbie Sacconi and Derek Nichols. And on our, the last, or the second to last handout is our complete ARG directory. And so that actually has all of the Clearview uh, team members on there, including Bruce and Kim Dat. And so um, we've got the entire team there. Um, great team. I used them on my recent purchase uh, of a home in April and they just really do a great job. They go to bat for you. Um, we had a bunch of different things go wrong with our escrow. Uh, we found mold, we had to do remediations, all kinds of stuff that stressed me out. And Derek was there, you know, at 10 at night, calming me down and, you know, showing me what was going on on the lending side. And so uh, he's really the kind of guy that you want to go to bat for your clients. Not to, and of course, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're doing a transaction yourself, but they are a team that works extremely well together. The whole team worked together at a previous uh, mortgage company. So they work together seamlessly. They've done it for five, six years. Um, great people to work with. So definitely uh, reach out to, to Bill Seitz, Derek or Debbie, if you have any questions. Um, they do unbelievable pre-calls, very quick pre-calls. Um, the banks and the investors that, that, we're, uh, that we're affiliated with now are some of the best. We're always increasing and getting more lines as we go. So now we've got a great line for, um, for uh, people that just have bank statements, don't have you know, W-2s and that kind of stuff. So um, we're increasing the lines as we go. So again, just reach out to, uh, to, to those guys and uh, anything you need. On the Wednesday webinars uh, going forward, there should be a clear view a representative for about five minutes. Just give us a little update every, every Wednesday. So that's, uh, that's what we'll be doing. And another forward. thing about Clearview, I mean, they really just are a great resource for you guys. Um, having lending in-house is so valuable. You know, outside banking, you know, can be a little pushy, but it's so great. I mean, you can call up Bill anytime. He's such a great guy. If you guys haven't met him, you got to talk to him. Debbie, Derek, all of them. And you know, even if somebody is qualified already and you have a buyer, get a second opinion. I mean, and they're not going to push anything, but a lot of times they can get a better rate and they've done it oh, yeah. um, with a lot of our realtors. And, you know, there's no harm in it. And it's just a really great idea. And yeah. I think we look at it. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's great to have in-house lending. It's just so valuable. And they can even, you know, even if the buyers are qualified and they're happy somewhere, but something just doesn't seem right, bounce it off Bill, bounce it off Derek. Definitely. They're, I mean, they're happy to pick up the phone, you know, anytime. Weekends, nights, yeah. they're animals. They're so, really always available. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the, the thing that I found out <laughs> very quickly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they really are great. <laughs> so check them out for sure. Uh, like Courtney said, it's just great to have uh, in-house lending. They understand the mortgage area. They, they understand the, the real estate side. Um, they want to help you. So yeah, for sure. Definitely there for you. Yeah. yeah. So uh, back to the websites. Um, one of the, the, the really cool features of these websites is they have a built-in drip campaign system. So any, and what a drip campaign is, is just a series of emails that will go out to a client um, and make sure that we're staying in contact with them. Because we all know that a lot of people, they may come to the website uh, through social media or however they get there. They might fill out the contact form and then you call, you follow up, you call them, they don't pick up, they don't want to talk to you, but we still want them to get some kind of communication from us. Um, and so these email drip campaigns are a great way to stay top of mind for your, for your, uh, your prospects. And so uh, the great thing about the agent marketing system is it does come with a whole bunch of different canned email drip campaigns ready to go. Um, so if somebody comes to your website and they want, they want to search the MLS, then you're going to want them to go into this particular drip campaign. 
And so let's take a look at them. So we can see all the, the different letters. And this particular drip campaign has four letters that are gonna go out. This one's gonna go out, you know, uh, basically about 10 minutes, 15 minutes after uh, the person goes online and fills out the form. They're gonna get a welcome and it looks like this. It's got Yvette's information, it's got her, uh, her telephone number, all of her stuff, and it's just a very nice, hey, thanks for visiting the site, I'm here. Um, and one thing that we can do is we can, we can completely edit these. So say, you know, Yvette looks at that email campaign and goes, that's not really what I would say. And people that know me, they're not going to, they, they know I don't talk like that. So I'm going to, you know, customize it a little bit. So you can put your own flair in it. You can even, you know, put a few things in Spanish. You can even have a drip campaign completely in Spanish. Why not? You know, for, for clients that are speaking Spanish, absolutely create a drip campaign that's all in Spanish. So, you know, there's a lot, we have a lot of uh, flexibility with these drip campaigns, um, but they're invaluable because they're working while we're out there doing other stuff. We're out there showing property. Well, we're making sure that all these people that have gotten, you know, that have gone to our website are getting some kind of communication. So the other thing that we can do with the drip campaigns, that's almost the most important thing, especially when an agent first joins or you want to reconnect with your sphere of influence, we can upload a list of your past clients or friends, family, sphere of influence people, and we can create a drip campaign that just goes to them. Because obviously we're going to want a different communication that goes to those people as opposed to a random person that comes to their website, right? So uh, in a personal thing, it's like, hey, remember me? Or, or, you know, hi, this is, you know, this is Yvette Burrell. You know, I'm now with Alter Realty Group. I have a brand new way to search the MLS. You know, here's a link to my website. In fact, here's another link where you can get a property valuation, you know, because uh, uh, we just had Yvette sign up with the, with the property uh, evaluation seller leads program that we have. And so you're able to communicate with those people very specifically. And then, you know, the next email, you know, four or five days later will be something also very personal. Hey, did you know this or this or that? Hey, just making sure that you got my email, the first email. So you have, and of course, with that kind of uh, client base, you don't want to be too pushy. You maybe only want those emails to go out once a week, little reminders, stuff like that. So um, great way to just, you know, completely automate what you're doing as far as communication uh, with respect to email. So um, really, really cool. And then these websites are great. They do come with a great strategies page. Um, they've got a ton of awesome strategies, lead gen strategies, ways to use some of these pages and, you know, other ideas on how you can do some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is completely free. I like to call it guerrilla marketing. You get down there, you do it, you do the Facebook advertising, you do, you know, uh, you know, the posting, you do the blogging, all that stuff only costs you your time. Um, but this will give you some really good ideas of other things to do and ways to use your website. Also, they do come with uh, some great uh, video setups. Um, most cases, as you guys all know, I basically create your websites for you. So there's not too much that you need to do on the, on the video side, but a, a lot of agents also say, hey, you know, I want to be able to change stuff up every once in a while. I want to, I want to know how to, to work with stuff. It's not hard. Um, so plenty of, of tools. Uh, the other really cool thing is this live chat feature. Uh, Courtney can attest. We live chat with these guys all the time. Um, it's, you know, Hillary and a few gals over there that are just really, really good to work with. They get right to you. You just type in your, your message and a minute later you got a response. So um, also phone number, just call them up. I got a problem. They'll help you out. Really, really good stuff. Uh, uh, listing presentation hero. That, let's take a look. I also don't know. Uh, okay, so this is just a, uh, a, a class that you can take to automate these listening presentations. Pretty cool. So you can check that out. I mean, there's tons of stuff in this back end. It is really, really powerful. Um, and then of course we have her set up on MLS. And, and so when you go to her website, you can do a search for anything you want. And it's reciprocal in a lot of different areas. Of course, you can search 
uh, homes all over the place. Um, so very, very powerful. And then another thing that we did for Yvette was we customized this little area right here because these are the areas that she really concentrates on. So we want people to just be able to say, oh, I just want to see stuff in Lafayette. And then, of course, this will display all of the, uh, all of the listings in Lafayette. And, and I think I, I had it set for like a two or three mile radius outside of that. So, um, again, great way to make it easy for our clients to find what they're looking for. Um, and then also the same thing again, if Yvette had a, a person that she knows wants Lafayette properties, she can again highlight that, copy it, and she can put that into you know, an email. Send that right to that person directly. Say, hey, let me make it easy for you. And you can do this kind of stuff when you're on the phone with them. You know, oh, oh, right on. Hey, hold on. Let me just send you a link. Send them a link. You know, they're going to check it out. They'll be on their phone. You're going to look like a rock star. So using these tools is just makes you look good. And as you saw, you know, having, you know, these pages with all of your information, you know, you look, uh, you look definitely a, a level up from the realtor that doesn't have that stuff. Right. And so you're just, again, being relevant in today's uh, digital market for sure. Um, uh, anybody have any questions at this point about some of the tools, some of the stuff? I know there's a lot. Um, and again, all of this stuff is meant to just take in, digest, and you know, start working with your own stuff. And as you have questions, of course, don't hesitate to, to contact Courtney or myself. And of course, the stellar staff at Agent Marketing. So um, either way, you're going to get the answer. We're going to help you out. Okay, and then um, other things in, in the back end of the website are things like uh, text message uh, functionality. So we have the ability to do text message marketing. So uh, something that's come up big in, in the last couple years is creating text writers for your listings. So imagine somebody drives by, they see your sign, and there's a writer that says text you know, great homes to this number to see the property information. So the, the person that's driving by, hopefully they stop their car and they, <laughs> and they text you, you know, so they, they text that number and instantly a link to that property website pops up, has all the specs, has everything that, that they want to know about the web, about that property, you know, and they don't have to grab a flyer. They don't have to do anything. It's all digital. And you can do that. You can do as many as you want using the system. Um, again, make yourself look pretty pro, pretty tech savvy, and you don't need to be that tech savvy. You know, the, the tools are just there. You utilize them once or twice. You're like, oh, I, got, I know how to do it. So the great thing about that is when that person texts that, we've got their phone number now. It comes into our CRM. We can now, they're going to get the drip campaign, right? So this is how it works. And, and the, obviously the best part about that is, you know, you've got the phone number. You're going to call them. You're going to send them a text back. Hey, did, how did you like that, that property? Look pretty good, huh? Here's a list of a couple more, right? Here's a few others that are kind of like that. All of a sudden, you're, you're, you're providing value. You're, you're gaining the trust. And that's, you know, utilizing these tools to gain the trust is everything because that's what a buyer or seller needs in a realtor. They need to trust you. They need to trust you for information. They need to trust you um, for ethics and to, to, to understand that you are the expert in those you know fields uh, that's why they, they hire a realtor you know so the trust thing is so key and doing these little things are the things that build that trust to bring them in and to to get these guys to be uh to our clients you know and then obviously from there um you know doing referral marketing to those clients that we've de that we've dealt with in the past making sure that we're asking for a referral making sure that we're asking for a testimonial and we just, and, and the way that we ask for testimonials is we ask for feedback. So going out, we ask for feedback. It comes back as a testimonial or a review. And then we use testimonials and reviews in our marketing. So it's always, hey, you know, after you did the transaction, everything's done, they're happy. You want to send them a follow-up email and, and ask them directly for that feedback. Say, hey, I want to make sure that I did okay. You know, I did everything possible. You know, maybe, you know, uh, some realtors even ask, like, was there anything I could have done better? You know, stuff like that. 
So you're going to get that information back. You might take the part that, you know, what I could do better. You might take that and just kind of stick that around and take the part that was good and use that in your marketing. And so getting into the habit of constantly getting those reviews and utilizing that, it does a few different things. First of all, you're getting back in touch with that person and, and saying, I care about how your experience was with me. That's powerful. They, most people say, yeah, you know what? That's great. I'll give that person a review. They really did go the extra mile. Um, so, and the other thing that does is it's going to build that, you know, your base of good reviews and good testimonials. And then um, at the, the exact same uh, thing is you want to contact those people, you know, maybe a week or two after and ask them for a referral. You got to ask. It's not their job to remember that you're there. You have to be the squeaky wheel, you know, uh, poking them on the shoulder every couple, you know, every so often. And then, of course, those people need to go on your monthly newsletter. So the, the, uh, this also has a monthly newsletter area. And that is in, that's actually in our, it's, it's actually in our uh, drips. So you can create a monthly letter too. And so uh, within the individual uh, CRM, it, within that individual client's uh, uh, info page, here actually I will get to, let me just log out here. is a new agent with us and I think he I think we've done some client tests with him I think I tested the system out yeah so it within the individual uh, this would be the CRM view of this this clients information this is all the information that we have on this client right and so this is really really cool you can see down here that we have notes this section is notes and you can see that we can turn on and off the monthly letters. And so, you know, most people, they definitely want to be turned on. He doesn't have any monthly letters right now, so it doesn't, it's, it's uh, irrelevant. But for most of your clients, especially those clients that are, that are past client customers, it's imperative that they're on your monthly newsletter. You don't want to bug them too much, but you want to be the squeaky wheel. And those newsletters, they got to be religious. You've got to do it every month. And um, uh, Bill Seitz and I, in the early, mid uh, 2000s, we ran a company called Baja Surf Properties. We sold uh, vacation rental, you know, our vacation properties in Southern Baja to Canadians and Americans primarily. We did that almost, we, uh, we used search engine optimization and, uh, and primarily uh, Google AdWords, which was in its infancy back then, to get our clients. But once we had our clients, we made almost all of our money off of that monthly newsletter. And it went out, we never missed a month. People would contact us back. It would always be something, it would be a little story about something cool down there. And so these people got into the habit of reading these. They always had awesome pictures and they got in the habit of reading these little newsletters. They were never very long and they always had like two or three little spots. And we got more people that came back to us because of those newsletters than anything else that we did. So uh, in my mind, it's absolutely imperative that every agent does a monthly newsletter to past clients and sphere of influence, people in the sphere of influence, really anybody that you can get an email from. And, and you know, if they don't want to receive it anymore, they'll, they'll you know, uh, deactivate, you know, uh, they'll unsubscribe. So, and that's okay. You know, still we want to be working with people that we have the opportunity to possibly get a sale. If they're just over it, then we're not going to ever get a sale from them anyway, and they might as well get the heck off our database. So that's okay. Um, and then uh, in, in this little CRM system, we have this little area right here, letters. And so that's where we would select what kind of drip campaign that person got. So we, of those uh, 10 or so drip campaigns, we can select them now here. And if we create a new one, it'll pop up here too. So that's the way that we, we do uh, the, the drip campaigns and that's the way that we manage the clients there. So that brings us to the top of the hour. And so we're basically done with the, with the presentation. 
Uh, we do have lunch that we're going to be uh, serving here in the back. Uh, but any other questions that you guys have at this point before we go ahead and, and terminate the broadcast and just kind of hang out? I have a question. Sure. Uh, you're talking about text messaging? Yes. Okay. And you said that once you get the phone number, then you could get it into the Drake campaign. Correct. But how can you get into the Drake campaign with a phone number if you don't have an email, email address? Uh, very good question. We can actually set up Drip campaigns that just text. So we can text them. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, but really, Carolina, the best thing to do is to call that person, get their email, uh, you know, put them into our system. They'll, they'll be in the system, but it'll just be a, a phone number. And so it'll, it, it'll be, it'll look like this, but it won't have very much information. So we're going to want to get them on the phone, put, put in as much information as we can get out of them and then add them to a drip campaign. So they do get the emails because you're absolutely right. Cause you, um, uh, text messaging, you know, to, to clients, yeah. it's something that we should all do, but you got to be careful. You don't want to have a, an exclusive text message uh, marketing campaign. Some people do get really turned off from it. If you do it too much, you can do it a little bit, but you got to be, you know, enough to, get enough to get the email address. And then it's slightly less invasive. Exactly. Send them an email. So that would be uh, how we do that. Marissa. Does this platform track the percentage of um, emails that are open or unsubscribed? Um, that is a great question. Should I'm not quite in, sure. Should be in the log right there. Let's see. Next to contact. Yeah. Right yeah, let's see. There's another tab. Oops. Oh, the log. There you go. There's the log. Yeah, so I, it'll definitely tell us what we did. And if that person clicks on something, it's going to show us that that person did go to the website. Um, so I guess that's the way that we would see that. I don't think there's any kind of a, a, an overall report. I think it does. Yeah. What was that, Courtney? I think it does generate a report. Oh, okay. Well, if, if it does, it's going to be in the log. <coughs> and. Yeah. For sure. It, I mean, they do definitely have the ability to unsubscribe and it will unsubscribe them in the CRM. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to be like, oh, okay, they sent me an email. I have to go back now and look for them and unsubscribe them. It'll unsubscribe them. Yeah. Cause that, that, that gets uh, tedious for sure. Um, okay. A any other questions? Those are great questions. Carolina. Yes, yes. So, yes. So the question is, is, um, you know, can we customize these websites? And yes, the, the answer is yes and no. They are, um, there is some rigidity to a lot of the different parts of the website. Um, so, you know, the, the main, you know, uh, look and feel, we can actually change it up a little bit, uh, even the whole look and feel of it. Um, let me just show you that real quick, Carolina. So in our personal websites, say we want to, there's, there's, I think maybe 10 different themes that we can choose from. So the themes themselves are customizable. So this one is, we've got this one selected right now, but maybe we like this look a little bit better, or maybe this is a brand new one. And that's the other cool thing about agent marketing is they're always coming up with new stuff. So this is a brand new one. Maybe we want to go to the new one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and Carolina, this area right here where it says Lafayette and Orinda and, and Hercules and El Sofronte, that is this entire area. We kind of, this is our kind of customization area. So she's chosen to have, you know, images and you click on them, goes to those search pages. Um, some of our, our agents choose to have some information about themselves right there or about, you know, a paragraph or two about their specialties, what they do. 
you know, so uh, I think Aris has, you know, a little blurb about what he does. He specializes in, you know, um, in two different areas. And it also kind of, uh, one of the things that he specializes in is, is, uh, is um, uh, not commercial properties, but uh, investment properties. So he's got a little blurb about investment properties. So yes, we, we have the ability to customize that. Um, but, but most of the site is pretty rigid, but it's set up in a very, very good way that is proven to convert traffic. So that's the, the, the ultimate goal of all this is to convert traffic into paying clients, you know, or, uh, you know people that are buying and selling homes. So it's, it's set up very well. Um, and then, if, you know, it's nice. It's got these, uh, it's got the same menu items at the very bottom as at the very top. But so. like Yvette's page, the final salute, that is her content entirely. So you can make you can create, custom pages yeah. within the site. So whereas the home page might be kind of cookie cutter, you can create a page and we can help you do that. Yes. Yeah. That is, you know, what you want it to be. Targeted. Exactly. And so one of the, the big things that I preach is to create community pages for the different communities within your, your, your towns. Right. And so it's a great idea to have, uh, you know, maybe one of these menu items at the top is, you know, El Sobrante. You're like, that, yeah, that's where I'm from. That's what I'm looking for. Or Contra Costa homes. Now, the, obviously the, or uh, maybe not obviously, but we do have some uh, limitation. So we can't have, you know, 25 of these menu items going across the entire screen. So, you know, you want to, we got to But you can't space. do drop down menus. And some of our other agents have, you know, it'll say communities and then it has a list of different communities. Agent marketing can do drop down menus? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you lovely. can pull up. Um, Arlen Sherman has, I've been building her out community pages. Yeah, let's try that. If you want to log into her. Sure. Um, oh, that's a great idea. And um, yeah. they do, it was all they, they have an agents. interesting thing. And they have a lot of pre-built out pages um, that have a lot of good content for things like, you know, moving tips and, you know, things. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, checklists and all kinds of things like that. Yeah. Um, and they have, they also, these are really cool too. They each, each of the websites come with your own little uh, market analysis report. So on in, in the website, uh, personal website area down here in the lower right, you can click on these and these are really cool. Same thing. You know, did you know the value of your home? Same thing. You take this, yeah, that's another, you, know, you know, you take that copy and put it in social media, send it to clients, that kind of thing. Um, they, they come pre-built with some pretty cool little landing pages like that. But let's take a look at, yeah. Yeah. So, and all three of these, and her website. Oh. yeah, sorry. All three of these, they go to the same spot. They all go to this thing, even though they have different little, little, uh, you know, this one is the market analysis report. The other one over here is, uh, you know, neighborhood report and CMA report, they all do go to that same exact page. So, yeah. Go ahead, Francisco. Is, is that part does the actual analysis or you, you just capture the name? This just captures the name. In our platinum program that I was talking about, we actually, you know, the system will spit out an instant report. So that's the big difference there. Yeah. Yeah, the home, home valuations. Yeah. Um, no, no. Pretty cool, huh? And that's really only for our platinum, <laughs> platinum members. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, again, that's only for the platinum members. You got you to join. So, that's the way that works. But, um, okay, so, so, and you can see this website is a okay. different theme, too. Yeah, completely different theme. So, it has the picture right? up in the corner as opposed to, but, you know, not hugely different. So, she's... she's yeah, so Arlen is in the uh, Santa Clarita area, and so she's got, uh, and we're adding a couple more for her too, but she works in Canyon Country, Castaic, Newhall, Valencia, um, that, that area up in kind of the North LA. Let's find out. So, so this you is, wrote her own copy. Yeah, and so this is something that is really important, um, writing your own copy about these, these places. 
Look at how cool this is, guys. I mean, you know, and, and Arlen is, uh, you know, a, a great salesperson, but not really tech savvy. But it, we're making her look real tech savvy here, you know. And so what this has is the red properties and the blue prop properties are um, active listings and sold listings. So it kind of shows you, you know, as somebody who is looking to buy a house or looking to sell your house, you can say, okay, so this is what's actively available. This is what's sold, you know, you're getting an idea of not only, you know, what your home could be worth, but what other properties have sold for and, you know, what is reasonable to buy a house. For. Like and that. so there's a lot of information there. I like that. Absolutely. And it's so they're easily so built in yeah. agent marketing. You just go into communities and you can draw the map yourself. Yeah. It just asks to point little arrows to draw the maps. And um, it comes up with it all. Yeah, it basically will, outside of course, Arlen you know, wrote her own copy, but outside the, you know, putting in the copy, all that other stuff, all that information is, is generated by the system. So I, I drew the maps for it. Oh, right? you, yeah. of course. You, you drew the maps. I, I did build the pages for it. So you could basically build it for it. Okay. She's the, she's the real system. Do we send you a tip? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tips available for, for Courtney at all times. <laughs> she accepts uh, flowers. Flowers. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Jewelry, anything. Oh, green, is green is good. Cash works. <laughs> Oh. So, so again, you know, just these, these websites are powerful. They're very powerful. They're easy to use. They're not very difficult. Um, you know, as, as you can see, we do the screen sharing one-on-one -on -one sessions where I was like, okay, let's figure this out. I have a problem, you know? And so it's really easy for us to, you know, it's almost like we're in the same room with you guys when we do a screen share with you. So isn't it nice? Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, the one thing that I like to say is, it, then you're seeing me do stuff. You know, it's the, the whole theory of, you know, teaching a person to fish rather than give them a fish. You know, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this stuff um, to where you know how to do it. And then you can train other people underneath you to do some of the stuff that you're doing and build a team. That's, that's, that's uh, training 2.0, you know, team building, you know, which is, it, and no joke, it is actually something that we're going to be coming up with an actual uh, team program for, for teams that join us because we do have a lot of teams, the Chavez team, and uh, Morgan Group, the, the Sherman team, you know, a lot of different teams that are coming on board and we want to be able to provide a good team solution for some of these, these teams. Yeah. So um, also, um, now that you talk kind of about teams, like if you're trying to build a team, um, do you have to know our prospects, you know, they like yeah. I really like teams. Yeah. I, I think it's real, you know, because of the size of the home, the price of the home, the reputation out there. If you try to see, you know, some sort of presentation as a team, instead of just one man, one company. For sure. Yeah. And so, um, who is it, Mike Beauregard? I was yeah. Saying. So one of our one of our agents uh, that's pretty new to us is named uh, Mike Beauregard. He's down in San Diego. And he actually, this is a great idea, on his website, he has a team kind of a, a page, and he's got Courtney and I on there, and he's got, you know, we are part of his team. You know, so use us. We are your team. So, and it's no joke. It's no lie. We are the team, you know. So, you know, when, when you could do, so it, uh, I'm not sure if anybody out in Cyberland uh, was able to hear uh, uh, Carolina's question, but Carolina asked the question, you know, when you're selling a more of a, an expensive home, they, they, the, 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 uh, the buyers and the sellers there, they want to see a team. They want to know that you've got a lot of uh, people and resources behind you. So, uh, yes, this, this is a great way to do that. All right, perfect guys. Well, everybody out in Cyberland, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're going to conclude the, the, the meeting and we're going to have a little lunch and hang out and chat and relax. And so um, everybody outside the area tomorrow will be in Sacramento. We're taking the tour on the road. And so hopefully anybody that wasn't able to make it, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow in Sacramento. So anyway, uh, as always, anything that you need from us, contact us directly and go out and make it a great day.